Hello and welcome back to my Vampire Survivors series where I try to unlock all of the things. Today, I have unlocked what I believe to be all of the characters in the DLC and I will now be playing the Rotten Ghoul. Um, I figured I'd save Genevieve and Sammy for later, um, but here's the deal. I'm going to be playing the Rotten Ghoul on inverse mode. We're finally getting into the inverse mode of madness, and uh, we're gonna see if we can we can get a win here. Now the thing is, I don't really know what this character does. They've got some kind of like party popper. Um, I guess also like just to clarify, I suppose I also uh, turned on the um, charm. I turned up the charm level quite a bit. So, yeah. <laughs> There's that. Um, this looks, like, really freaking bad. Like, I don't know... I don't know how I'm gonna kill anybody with this weapon. Um, yeah, this weapon does not do a lot of damage. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, as you can see, I did not really do too much research on, um, you know, these kinds of characters and weapons and builds and potential ways to not just, like, lose. So, um, we're kind of, we're playing it by ear here. Come. I'm trying my best, but my best may not be good enough. Um, similarly to the previous DLC, though, this character is capable of... Getting up to plus four extra projectiles from their passive, so we could end up getting quite a quite a few projectiles here, which would be pretty fun. Which actually makes me want to potentially go on Holy Vespers. Although you know what? Nah, I'll keep going. If I die, then I'll go back, obviously, because I'll be dead. Um, I th thought that I remembered the party popper. Okay, well, I died. <laughs> I feel like I recall the party popper being involved in some sort of shenanigans with Gemini. It is. Hmm. Interesting. So I go party popper, guns, birds, and then shadow servant. And maybe that would be good. And then I could go like Unholy Vespers and something else maybe. And I have two Party Poppers. Party Poppers are not an amazing weapon, so... You know, we'll um, need to figure something out. Did I kill anything? Not really. <laughs> Okay, this character is going to be hard to get wins with. I can already tell. That's fine. This is nothing we haven't dealt with before. Okay, well, there's a, there's a King Bible. That's pretty good. Hopefully. I mean, it won't be that good early on, but you know, later on, if we can survive, it'll be good. Right? If we can survive. <laughs> Which I'm heavily doubting to be possible at this stage. Oh my god, dude. We just don't have any damage at all with this weapon, man. The uh, party poppers are uh, just not really doing it for me. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> we need to figure something out, clearly. Because whatever I've got going on here is not... Not too good. Hmm. I mean, the main problem is that, like, starting from level 1, the character just doesn't really do damage. 
All right. Let's try something different. Maybe we don't pick Gemini right off the bat. Could take Twilight Requiem. For a little bit of early strength, assuming we get the... Well, no, because it wouldn't even be good. Like, we would have to get the gun, or the birds early. Which I guess is doable. The other option that I'm thinking is taking Awake. If I take Awake, then it'll at least give me, like, early survivability, potentially. But then my damage is going to be terrible. I don't think beginning is going to be good at all. Hmm. Twilight Requiem could be okay, but we'd have to get the birds. Okay, if I lose this run as well, then I'm going to go back to the drawing board. AKA, I'm going to go seal a bunch of weapons that I don't want. So I have a higher chance of finding the weapons that I do want. Holy crap, this weapon is so bad, dude. It legitimately is doing z like zero damage to any enemies on the screen. <laughs> the, okay, I killed seven enemies apparently. In between them, I draw. I got two XP gems. This is this is great. Okay, so it looks like maybe it switches side. Nope, it doesn't switch sides, it's random. It's random which sides it shoots out. Okay, it keeps going. Or maybe it's direction based? Okay, hold on, it might be direction based. I'm facing right, and it shoots right. Okay. It's not random. I'm dead. I killed 31 enemies, apparently. Okay. Here we go. Reroll. Reroll. Ebony Wings. Okay. I'm suddenly killing several times more enemies than I did before. Shadow Servant. Yes, that's what I want. I kind of wish I looked at what Shadow Servant did, actually, because I'm curious if it has any other special effects. Because um, the weapon itself seems pretty like bad <laughs> so okay Pichone that's cool Big blue guns okay I mean we're we're getting like somewhere but didn't I lose my revive I did so I need to not die which is looking extremely difficult Give me, give me food. Oh, I'm dead. I walked into the tree. Oh, Lord. Okay. 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 I think my last weapon, I want to try and make it the Santa Water. But I might end up going for Rune Tracer instead. If I get it, because then it'll be good with the curse thing. Uh, as much as I don't want to take the curse, Twilight Requiem, like, it almost feels like I just need to take Twilight Requiem to even stand a chance at having good damage in the early stages. So, whatever. Let's just try it. Bro, this weapon is just uh, not doing it for me, to be honest. Maybe I should just take Divine Bloodline and say, screw it. Just freaking run into a bunch of enemies. Hope that they all die. Reroll. Reroll. Have any wings? Okay. Well, I got it before dying this time. That's good. I also killed like a hundred enemies already. I just need to go and get their XP now. I'll run through every single one of them. Okay, how am I supposed to get that XP? 
<laughs> it's inside the wall. Okay. Um, I did think about taking Bracelet maybe instead of Sand and Water, so I'll do that. I think Bracelet with a lot of projectiles is probably pretty good. Okay. The thing is, I don't want to use too many rerolls because then I won't be able to get the Arcana that I want. So... You know. I'm trying to be greedy, okay? I'm being a little bit greedy just because, like... This is doomed. <laughs> it's so doomed. It's... You know, no pun intended, but it is quite cursed. Yo, know, that's... That's nice. I get a little bit of brief respite where I can run around killing enemies, getting some XP, but I'm still extremely low on health. I'm dead. Oh lord. Okay. King Bible. Man, this character is just something special. <laughs> like, I don't want to stray away from, you know, what I think could be a really fun build with the character, but at the same time, like, I, you know, I'm trying to get a win, right? Like, I don't want to just, like, die for an hour. That, that would be boring. So, party popper. Okay, well, the goblins are gone. So maybe there'll be less enemies to worry about? No, not really. It's just as many, pretty much, if not more. <laughs> Okay, so I can get Tome. I need Spellbinder, at the very least. Um, although, you know, Tome would be cool. I, or, um, I have Tome. Other things would be cool. I need Spellbinder, though. Um, I also need at least one more tier to sue. I realized that I... I used one, even though I actually need one to evolve the guns. So hopefully that I can, hopefully I can get another one at some point without losing it. Um, ooh, okay, we lived. Floor chicken is finally spawning, which is fantastic. That was one of my biggest issues earlier. Is that there's just no freaking floor chicken. Also, I think Party Popper is finally starting to do a little bit of damage. Okay. We may have done it. We may have survived past the point where, like, we can actually play the game. <laughs> um, it did come with a couple concessions. We lost, you know, our initial revive. We lost one of our Tiragasu revives, and yeah, that's rough. <laughs> We also took an Arcana that is not, like, ideal. Um, it's pretty much going to be useless in the later stages. It'll be good with Bracelet, but other than that, we actually just, like, can't use it at all. But it'll, it'll be good with Bracelet, so... Alright. Um, I do need to be a little bit careful, because if I evolve the birds, then I'll actually lose, like, all of my DPS. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure that Arcana is carrying me hardcore. Also, I think I accidentally resized my screen a little bit, so apologies if that messed with the uh, the capture. Okay, so I've got Spellbinder, I've got Candelabrador, I've got Tome, I got Toronto's Box, um, Duplicator. Duplicator is not even that good, is it? I do need Tiragasu. Like, for sure, I need Tiragasu. Is there anything else that I need? I don't think so. Alright, whatever. We'll take Duplicator. Oh, shoot. I need the Skull. 
Oh, but the skull's an item on this map, so that's fine. I forgot that I need the skull in order to evolve the, uh, the purple orb, Genevieve's weapon. Which I guess makes this Arcana better, but also, like, I'm just not going to be able to use this Arcana, the Curse Arcana, because all the weapons that use it, I'm getting rid of, right? Like, it's pretty much just the only weapons that I have that use it are the Bible and the birds. I guess the technically the Unholy Vespers can use it, um, even when they're evolved, so it is something. It's, it's not nothing. Okay, and we're actually starting to kill some enemies, so... You know what? I'm feeling okay about our run now. Um, but obviously it's a little bit sketchy that we have zero extra revives. So if we take, like, any amount of damage, we might just lose the entire run. Um, which is extremely annoying. I also, like, haven't ventured outside of my hidey hole down here. Um, I'm a little bit worried to go out into the real world and see... What happens? I'm afraid of getting harassed by enemies. But, um, you know what? The party poppers? It looks like it's doing something. I don't, I don't know if it's doing good stuff, but it's, it is hitting enemies, so that's good at the very least. An enemy died in the wall. That's kind of bizarre. Man, these guys are kind of tanky. That's a little bit scary, but all right, we're we're getting we're getting places. So I do need to evolve the birds before I can get the blue gaunt. I almost just died. How much damage did I take? <laughs> did I did I walk into an enemy for one second and just die, or like what was that? Also, there's an Arcana chest down there. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, I need some floor chicken. ASAP. Oh, there's some floor chicken. Give it to me? Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we got the Smurfs. The Smurfs have spawned. Normally this wave would be pretty small, but obviously because we have 100 charm, there's quite a few enemies. Also, I, I think I took a bunch of damage again by walking into an enemy on accident, so that's fantastic. Alright. Come on, where's the floor chicken? Give me the floor chicken. Also, don't walk into enemies and die, please. Here's a floor chicken. Not bad. Alright, I kind of want to try making my way towards some of these items. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, we got the tier two. So now we really can't die. Because if I die, I won't be able to get the blue gun. Or I won't be able to evolve the guns, rather. Which would be very bad. So avoid death more than usual. Um, I also, I might as well pick up the skull now. I guess. Dude, I'm, I'm really worried that, like, if I evolve these birds, what's going to happen to me? I feel like I'm going to lose all of my damage, actually. I don't know. Maybe I have enough damage without it, but I don't think so. Because even like the Vandalier, I think the Vandalier is a DPS downgrade compared to the level 8 birds. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Whatever. Only one way to find out. Look on the wiki. We're killing things, we're killing things. 
The party popper's bouncing. It'd be bouncing. It's bouncing a lot along the ground. I wish it would bounce along like the enemies. <laughs> Not just stay at the bottom of the screen. But that's that's fine. Okay. Got a few levels there, that's good. Kill this dude. Okay. Oh, there we go. We killed him. So this should be a bracelet or Bible evolution? It was neither. Alright, well, pretty soon we're gonna have to level up the birds. But I will delay it as much as possible. With this phase, I don't know, maybe we don't even need it. If we were strong enough without. It just scares me, man. Everything scares me. I finally got an okay run with this character. I mean, I say finally, I've only been playing for 20 minutes, but... <laughs> you know. It took me like four attempts, okay? Give me a break. Also, to be honest, I don't think I've been over here, actually, to where this skull is. So I don't really recognize it. Man, look at how many Bibles I have, though. Jesus. That's what happens when you get two Bibles. Also, I'm level 67, I just realized. So I'm getting plus three projectiles right now from the dude's passive. Which is pretty good. Oh, it's like a hidden area. It looks like. Interesting. Oh, but look at how many mantises there are. But am I going to die? Am I going to die to these mantises? Okay, get the skull and leave. I'm dead. Okay. It's fine. I'm stuck behind a tree. Oh my god, I have one health. Okay. Why did that heal me for nothing? I'm dead. Are you serious? <laughs> I, are you for real? Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. I don't really feel like playing another run. Because it's 20 minutes into the video. But that was sad. That was quite sad. Um, okay. Well, you know what? That'll be it for today's video. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day, good night, whenever, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you next time, where I am going to play a slightly better character. And um, I think I'm going to try to save the ghoul for later on. Because this character definitely seems a lot worse than these other ones. Although, to be honest, Eleanor and Keitha's early games are also pretty bad. And I have no idea how Sammy's going to work. So, we'll figure it out. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode. Where I may or may not play the character that I currently have selected. <laughs> Hope to see you there. I'm out of here. Peace.